A lot of my passion is for, um, yeah, in my work, but I also think that you've obviously got to have passions outside of that and um, or think interests outside of that. And I'm still, I think, searching for the exact kind of niche of my passion within my work. I think with work, when is there never kind of a, a passion between, um, a conflict, I guess, between work commitments and family commitments. Um, I work a lot on weekends, which means that I've got to say no to doing a lot of things I would like to do sometimes. Um, and it also means that sometimes the weekend rolls around and despite my youthful age, as people are always pointing out to me in my office, I'm just too exhausted to do anything fun. as a kind of theatre person doing shows on stage and I met a couple of street performers and kind of watched what they did and really enjoyed the uh, how, how fluid it was just it was so natural it wasn't you know having to rehearse for six months and then do tech rehearsals and dress rehearsals it was just go out do a show and make people laugh and, and I really enjoyed that uh, interaction they had just with people that had never never no intention of going out and watching a show suddenly became an audience and interacted with a performer, which I really liked. Um, do, you ever, do you ever feel a bit of a tension with, with the sort of following of this passion against uh, certain obligations that you might, you might have or you might be supposed to have? I'm, I think that the, it, it's, it's really hard to mix up a normal life you know, rent, mobile phone bills, you know, mortgage with uh, with street performing. It can be quite difficult because you do need to be fairly transient. You do need to, to go, all right, I can't work here now, I have to go somewhere else. So the idea of buying a house or, or renting a flat for even uh, six months is, is quite a scary thought. And so your your entire life is is changed to, to fit in uh, being a street performer. So you have to go, all right, Tomorrow I'm heading down to London. Tomorrow I'm heading over to America. Tomorrow I'm heading to New Zealand. Um, and so you, you have to be fairly uh, fluid and be able to chop and change at a moment's notice. Is that quite scary on occasion? Not anymore. It used to be. It used to be really quite, oh, no, oh, what am I going to do? How am I going to pay the rent? What am I going to do for food? Now it's kind of, um, it's almost, it's almost, I, I know I can go out and do a show, and so it's fine. As long as I can go out and do a show, everything else is fine because everything else will take care of itself. I was five, I used to stand in front of a blackboard and my mum and dad would laugh when I was there teaching. Oh. And I wanted to do it most of my life till I thought it wasn't trendy. And then I did it a bit in Paris and I remember sitting on the train thinking, this is what I want to do. 
how do you perceive other people when they don't achieve their passion? What, what kind of things do you see which is completely against of having a passionate life? Uh, I think being able to lead the passionate life is kind of privileged in itself. I mean, I, I come from a very good background in terms of like, I've, my family's never struggled with money in, in any way. I'm a white woman, uh, grown up in a white middle class suburb in Sweden. Uh, being able to save up money to move to London to work and not even earn any money. If I stayed at work, I could earn so much money and you know, do whatever I want, but I didn't come here to... I don't think... Mo like, money is more about having, like, the base um, possibility, money-wise, to do things. But when, when it comes down to it, it's not about having money when, when you do what you want to do. It's more about having enough to reach there. And it doesn't have to be about money, but it's always about your... Um, like, everyone has different... What's it called? Your obligations? Yeah. Okay. It is incredibly scary because generally you're not going to make any money for quite a while. If, if it's what you want to do as a career, if it's only what you want to do to, to pay the bills, you're, you're, you're not going to make money straight away. And that's a really scary thought. But uh, you'll, only, you'll only do it if you jump in head first. You know, quit your day job, quit um, the, the safety blanket that you have in your life and just go for it, because otherwise you're going to go in half-hearted. Nothing, nothing is more creative than having to pay the rent and having to, to fulfil your obligations. So you, you just go out and you'll do it, you know, whether it be painting or music or street performing or whatever. Um, do, you, do you ever feel like there's a tension between your, your passion and your obligations? Uh, not for t well, yeah, well, I suppose so, yes, I mean, the job is an obligation, but I also do really enjoy it, so I wouldn't be doing it otherwise. Uh, I love property, and but yes, of course, there isn't enough time to be playing tennis and maybe sort of indulging other, other sort of pursuits as well. I've always found it slightly bizarre when people talk about a work-life balance. I think you're, you need to love your work enough for it to be part of your life, and if you can't find that and reconcile with that, then you need to change jobs. Lots of people who you see have, or they lead lives where they feel like they, they're doing something important maybe. Not even, they might even not love their job, but they have a partner really like pushes them into doing whatever it is they do on the side, or a friend, or like they help the mum out. Like it, it, I think it's also a lot about people and to like share something with other people. Um, so like we have a couple of communities every now and then and they're always like super chatty and they engage with everyone and they're super nice and like, you, like you see people on such different um, with such different I don't know lives and uh, and how they, that affects their moods when they are in a public space I guess and how much they how much energy they have to interact and to to pass on that energy I guess. No protection, and one last thing, everybody. I gotta mention this what you see before you is what I actually chose to do with my life. <laughs> okay, now sometimes we'll clap a cheer, today everyone stared at me thinking you made the wrong choice with your life. Folks, um, at my age, with this on my CV for the last 15 years, I'm not gonna get a job doing anything else.